Hands. This is Ruby Masters. There's re like return to my Let's Play of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Back, Dad. We miss you. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. As a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. here already? Krillin, you felt it too, right? It's Frieza, and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kinda hard not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! <laughs> they landed over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive! Uh, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! to survive! Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? And to think we're going up against him again. First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get... The heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Uh, yes. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. 
But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Impossible. Isn't it? 
it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. What? 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 How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Doesn't seem like a bad guy. privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So... Can I ask... You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you, in private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I guess I'd better go talk to him. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. 
Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. You're just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm gonna be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And 
they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. You just told me that's gotta be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Please make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku. We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, 
Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right. I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. <laughs> if we die, it won't be for lack of skill. <laughs> Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. <laughs> androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and go on? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> Sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right. See you guys soon. Or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine. Don't waste too much of our time.
Oh no! Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> we got a keeper. Of getting lost in a city this huge. Yeah. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now.
Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. Cause some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. <laughs> Might cause some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. It's easy to find Bulma's place. Just look for the biggest house.
Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.